I don't know half of what they're saying, but at least they're peaceful. At the ready. That drow cowl might have bits of magic lingering inside it. Any thoughts, Gail? Drow magic radiates from it. Drows are masters of magic. Cover proudly announces this book to be Flump Mating Rituals. Under Dark Fauna is a topic much written on, but this title has never appeared in any collection you've seen. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. in here. Oh, <laughs> 
for the adamantine forge. Filro, Dorn, each held knowledge.
destroyer. On my way. Sometimes the only way out is through. These boots have seen everything. Don't give up. Still breathing, despite everything. If not over, then through. Forge, mysterious guardian, mention of a hot hammer, a whole adventure in a nutshell. Oh, my God. 
Tak. Found me. Fit me. No flesh. Protector of the adamantine forge. Born from hellish heat. In hellish heat. Destroyed. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. No rest for the wicked, I see. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. Strange collar. It's got runes all over it. This must have belonged to Lenore's dog. Definitely magical too. Half of what they're saying, but at least they're peaceful. Fuller, what have they done to you? 
Maybe... Maybe the Mykonids thought they were helping. No. No. I feel the fair stress fading. I cannot leave the Underdark. Maybe we you recall the fair stress, the energy of the Underdark. No, the Mykonid no, no, might okay. die if isolated Our from it. Is bigger than any one of us, even Wolverine. It is time. We take death to the Dwega. At least they're peaceful. I must see it for myself. Lead me to the rot. I wish to see it faster. What have they done to you? Maybe... Maybe the Mykonids thought they were helping. We've had some rest. Maybe we can still go back for the others. No, Lunkbug. Our work is bigger than any one of us. Even Wolverine. Moving ahead. The tumor is excised. The Dwega are dead. Here I break ground. From the dark. Your mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death to her. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign.
matters. Serper is dead. So much for Circle Glut. I'm not sure I know how to eulogize a giant mushroom. Can we leave? Maybe the Mykonids thought they were helping. Peace, Rilla. Be at home. We've had some rest. You are Maybe one with spawn. Still go back for the Your throat tightens, then relaxes. No lump bug. The air is serene. Our work is Your bigger than anyone untroubled. Even the songs we sing. Now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace, Bruna. I now name you Kin Spirit. I'm not what I'm saying, but at least they're peaceful. My friend! How do you fare? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! 
the needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Certain? We're nearly there. As you wish. But when your skin starts to peel away, remember Volo offered to help. of slavers. Really? Save your prayers for someone who at least had the spine to fight back. <laughs> 